On your Syndicate Investigation Board, you'll notice four yellow question marks. The first being Intervention. You'll get randomly jumped by Syndicate members. Uh, this one was interesting because they randomly jumped me right on top of an Abyss I was running. The second category is Research. This is the one where you run into a laboratory and you have to run around uh, protecting green donuts on the minimap. These donuts are evidence. You want to go and find uh, what looks like a uterus on your minimap. You want to go attack the uterus until um, it's dead and that will protect the evidence. The next category is fortification. You run up to a big fort, you break down a wall, and then there's a bunch of um, syndicate members inside that you're going to attack. The final category is transportation. This looks like the caravan of lanterns, like a train. Um, and you want to, obviously, before it reaches its end point, attack the intervention assassins. Now you're going to be offered two different options whenever you kill these guys. Interrogate, which puts them into that chamber at the bottom, which gains intelligence to raise the bar of the safe house. Uh, which will allow you to access the safe house. You can also hit Bargain, which is a way to move members between different safe houses. I'll explain more why later. You'll also sometimes be offered Execute, which raises the star level. You'll see the star in the corner. You want to get those star levels up for better rewards. You can turn on Friendly versus Foe with green and red ropes, which allow you to deterministically sort members, including Betray, which allows you to kick members off the board. Right here, I didn't want to betray or interrogate, so I hit this button at the bottom, which did a big fat nothing. In hindsight, I should have betrayed, because Elrion, as you can see, gives very poor rewards in any of the categories, transportation, fortification, any of them. This is a simplified version I made, which has some very interesting rewards. Uh, Amulet to Talisman allows you to make like a monkey paw talisman with explicits based on the base that you use. Also, Aisling is very useful. It's a way to add a Veiled modifier as a prefix, for example, without re-rolling all prefixes, like a Veiled Orb. Aisling here is not connected by any yellow ropes, so I have to get her into research later. As you run through, you'll see these um, various items that drop with Unveil. You go to June, Unveil it, and you get permanent upgrades to your uh, crafting bench. This transportation is ready to run the safe house. It's not very good. I did not get the star levels very high, but I wanted to run it for purposes of demo. When you run into the safe house, you're going to go through basically a, a revealed map. And then inside the safe house itself, you then have to attack all the members that you put into that category. This one being transportation. So all the rewards from that cheat sheet will be transportation based. They'll drop various veiled items, as well as the leader, Riker, will give me a chance to interrogate, upgrading that red question mark at the top, which is the Katarina boss fight. Now I get to run through and collect the rewards. They were only one star, so it's just like Splinter is not very good. Catalyst, not very upgraded. And then of course, Riker himself being the leader of this uh, safe house, he has this unique thing where you get to pick an item on a timer. You have to grab it before the timer's up. All I had was the uh, Chaos Orbs. And that's basically Syndicate in a nutshell.